Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and as you can see, I am wearing an ugly Christmas sweater, which can only mean one thing, tis the season. Yes, it is almost Christmas. Black Friday is coming up this Friday. Are you ready? I am not, but I thought I would do a little video to help some people out. For anyone that's got a musician in their life, particularly a guitarist, but any musician, uh, I thought I'd give you guys some ideas for stocking stuffers, and this is the kind of stuff that I see on sale on Black Friday at, um, like, Guitar Center and guitar stores all the time. And it's the kind of stuff that, you know, it's in the range of probably, like, a few bucks up to, like, maybe, like, 30, 40 bucks on the high end of the stuff that I'm going to show you. But these are things that you might not know about or think about that are actually very useful to, uh, to musicians, and particularly guitarists. I'm a guitarist, so I'm going to lean in that direction, but there's some other things that I got here that apply to everybody. So here we go. All right, first on the list, we got guitar strings. What guitarist doesn't just run out of these and forget to have a stock of them on hand? These are the ones that I like. These are GHS Boomers. They're a good all around, pretty inexpensive uh, guitar string for guitarists. Um, they make bass strings, any kind of stringed instrument they got covered and they're really great strings. They last, their tone is good. And again, very inexpensive. I wanna say these are like maybe seven eight bucks a pack so they're very very reasonable so next on the list we got guitar picks if you got a bass player or a guitar player any string instrument player in your life that could have a use for these technically even a piano player can use them because piano is a stringed instrument don't know if you knew that but these are great they're like five six bucks for a pack of a dozen these are the dunlop tortex picks the ones that i like the best very inexpensive they're workhorse picks they're great all right on the very inexpensive end you got string winders so for those strings you got your guitarist buddy or your your uh, musician buddy earlier these are this is the thing they use to make it easier for them to change those strings get them on and off the guitar awesome tool and it cost maybe a buck or two this one i think literally was like a dollar maybe a dollar fifty now this next one is applicable pretty much to any instrument that needs tuning technically i think even a drummer could benefit from this clip on tuners this is one made by snark which is a very popular brand this is an awesome piece of equipment again i think these are like 20 bucks they're not expensive very very useful some of them you know you can get ones that are more fancy than others some of them come with you know clocks on them some of them come with like other other features but the basic clip-on tuner is very useful snark is a great brand these things last a long time and they're very accurate now on to the next thing which is specifically really a guitar thing though other string instruments do use them capos look i'm capoing my eye Got it. This is a capo made by G7th. This is the Performance 3 capo. Amazing, amazing thing. Now, G7th, I'll show you. They make a bunch of different styles and types of capos. The Performance capos are the ones I like. These ones, I want to say, run about like 40, 50 bucks, maybe a little more. Um, but they have like these guys here that are, whew, these guys here that I want to say are like 10 or 15. You know, they're they're not metal, they're plastic, but they're still very durable. I've used this, this capo before. Really fantastic, great piece of equipment for guitarists. If you're not a guitarist, all this basically does is it helps you to change the key of your instrument very quickly and easily. So there you go. So another one here for guitarists, we got slide winder rings. If you guys have watched my channel at all over the, over the past few years, you've seen me use these things a few times. I've done a few review videos on them. I've interviewed the inventor of these things, and they're great. They slide onto your finger, actually onto your... Um, guitar fretting finger and then it's there if, when, if you want to play slide you can do that and then if you don't you can still use your fingers really useful cool um, unique uh, thing very small very low profile uh, but also very cool and eye-catching they have different styles of these things and this I want to say is like in the 40 to 50 dollar range is where they kind of start again a little more expensive but not bad and if you really love that special someone I mean they're worth it don't you think Something else you can get for that musician in your life, particularly if it's a guitarist, bass player, anyone that plays an instrument that needs like to be, that has a strap on it, right, is these nylon straps. These are made by Ernie Ball. Uh, these are fantastic, and I want to say they're like six or seven bucks, maybe ten bucks at max. I get these all the time. These are super durable. They last forever. I've had that this strap I think I've had for like probably a decade. They never fail. Really great for any musician to have extra of on hand for when they get that new guitar that hopefully you're also getting them for Christmas. Okay, now we're going to get into some less obvious, maybe less musical things, but things that would be beneficial to to an artist. And this is for any artist, really. First up, might seem a little not obvious, but 
hand cream, really good hand cream, particularly this stuff. I like the O'Keeffe's for working hands. It relieves extremely dry and cracked hands. The reason I like it, I'm a guitarist. My hands get dry. I get calloused. I get all these things, you know, happening with my hands. This stuff is really good. Use it for a couple days and it'll heal your hands right up. And I, you know, drummers, any other instrumentalist, anyone that uses their hands, they, they, this is useful to them. This is actually something that's really good to have on hand. No pun intended. Next, cool kind of apparel stuff. It's a bandana, you know, or you can get them some scarves or you can get them, I don't know, you know, take the person, read their personality. You can go to a thrift shop and find, you know, random cool stuff that might work with their wardrobe. If you know, if you know what their style is and what they're really into, do that. And, you know, you spend like less than 10 bucks. You can get sometimes more than one thing that would actually be something that would tell them, hey, I, I pay attention and really dig your style and what you're into and I want to contribute to it. And finally, and this list could go on forever, for days and days and days, but I'm going to cut it off here. The last thing, what musician doesn't need a pair of sunglasses? And I'm going to clue you in here. Um, I will be putting links down below for all the stuff that I got up here that I just brought up and uh, showed you for stocking stuff for ideas. These, though, um, I'm going to try to find an Amazon link. If I can, I'll put the link down to where I got them from. I got these from Home Depot, believe it or not, and they were like 8 bucks. Um, Home Depot is one of those little um, gems, those little secrets I found. You need good cheap sunglasses, the work goggles, the tinted work goggles there are pretty cool. These are like aviator style sunglasses. They look like they're like a $200 pair of sunglasses, not eight bucks. Eight bucks at Home Depot, they're technically work goggles. They look great, they're polarized, they work really well. So anyway, there you go guys. Those are some very reasonable, inexpensive and helpful tips for things you can look at to get your musician, and particularly your guitar player, for, uh, friends, family, spouses, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, during the holiday seasons. I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below, A, if this was helpful, and B, if um, you have any other suggestions, stuff I might have missed. Maybe it's obvious, maybe it's not. But I would love to hear that for sure. And once again, down below in the description, there will be links to everything I put in this video so you can find these things easily. Um, I will try to make as many of these Amazon links because Amazon tends to be pretty easy for people. If I can't, I will get you the best link that I can. So there you go, guys. I hope you have an incredible Thanksgiving. I hope this holiday season brings you restfulness. I hope it brings you togetherness with your family and friends, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, obviously lots of presents. So guys, until next video, I'm Johnny Farrow. I'll see you later. Mwah. Merry Christmas.